Hi, Stitchers. Hi, I'm Keisha. I'm Laura. Welcome to the Pattern Queens, episode 162. Today is Sunday, November 3rd, and this is a channel about cross stitch. And friendship, and rambles, and lots and lots of shenanigans, and an extra hour of sleep, supposedly. Yes. (laughs) I was up earlier than regular, even. So, yeah. Yeah. I have a baby, so it doesn't, he doesn't care if we uh, (laughs) turn the clocks back or not. (laughs) Oh, so we want to welcome you all to our video. Thank you for joining us. We know you have lots of choices out there for Floss Tube, and we're glad that you chose to join us and hang out. You'll have to let us know what you're stitching today, if you're stitching Mm -hmm. during this, or um, I don't know. We'll think of something else, too. Tell us whatever you want to tell us. Yeah. <laughs> and um, that brings us up. I'm looking at my list and I'm like, oh, I did two things together. <laughs> oh, okay. So what's new with you this week? Um, there's not a whole lot new. Uh, we've had all of all of the Halloween fun and we're done with the Halloween fun. We went to um, one of the suburbs uh, in the metro area and did a trick-or-treat downtown with the boys on Halloween and that was fun it was basically just they closed down a couple blocks uh, of the downtown and there was just a great big line and you just went around in the line and it was (laughs) perfect but then we tried to go to Sonic for corn dogs afterwards because this is what we do every Halloween and they were out of corn dogs oh we got coupons for free corn dogs later so all is it works right yeah What's new with you? Well, it was a um, a dress up week at school, a spirit week, and this year it was movie themed. So mm. really, it was an excuse for kids to come in in Halloween costumes all week, mm-hmm. and it was fun to see them come in. Uh, the popular little girls' costume this year was Wednesday, okay. and there were probably half a dozen Wednesdays in the school on Thursday. (laughs) And um, I, it was just fun to see the kids and watch them have fun and, and all the things. So that's That's good. We had one trick or treater. Mm -hmm. Katie had not purchased candy this year. She said, I bought full size candy bars last year. Nobody showed up. I'm not doing it. And Mm -hmm. I said, well, that's okay. Because I just got my big bag of the packages of um albanese Mm -hmm. snacks and i said if somebody comes we'll just get some fruit snacks so one kid came and i just grabbed a handful and threw them in hopefully they like those fruit snacks yeah for sure (laughs) but no chocolate Mm -hmm. so i've obviously got a little bit of a cold um it's gone through pretty quickly because i felt kind of yucky during the week and then it really hit hard um thursday and friday and i didn't have much voice and if you watch the black needle society katie and i did our wrap-up yesterday Mm -hmm. and i still had a lot of it going on and couldn't breathe and so it's a fun video right (laughs) I'm a little distracted. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's it. Are you ready to get into this? I am ready. I am. Re- I know you're ready. Yes. I'm so excited. I'm going to tilt this a little because I think something may show. You can see my pile and I'm afraid I have something over here I'm working on that I don't want to show later. So I have a finish for now. Yes. And it is my life after death by long dog samplers Mm -hmm. and i have finished all of the cross stitches and i took it right up to the 31st i let it go Mm -hmm. that whole time but there i'm upside down that's why you put a needle minder on things (laughs) there it is congratulations that is a huge accomplishment thank you and i was working over here Uh, This week I did the bull and the crown and all of the little bits on the bottom. You can Mm -hmm. see the big gaps here above him. Mm -hmm. Those are going to be backstitch things, including a couple of frogs. Oh, fun. (laughs) So, yeah, I mean, 
uh, there's a ton of backstitch in this. I've done some, but really I was pushing more to get the stitches done. Right. You know, my quota didn't include um, backstitching. It only included right. cross stitches. Mm -hmm. So I will be working on this in November. Here's a little bit of plans. I'll be working on this in November to get all of the backstitch done. Mm -hmm. Okay, we didn't talk about this. How many whips do you have? Oh, I have two. Okay, then I'm going to show another one. Okay. This is my school whip. Ooh, fun. Coffee Quaker by Heartstring Samplery. And I finished the big motif I was on this week in between things. Ooh. And I moved over here and I have started the bird. Okay. So it's the top row mostly that's left. There's, um, there is another motif to go in over here. Mm -hmm. I want to do some other stuff first. Wow, that's looking great. Thank you. And then the next one I worked on is Ichabod Seabury by the Primitive Needle. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to be real honest here. The night that I tried to work on this thing, I could not do it. And here's what I got in this part of letter D on Ichabod. That's it. <laughs> it's on 36 count swamp by picture this plus. Mm -hmm. And I'm using one strand of floss. And I don't know, we've been trying to get things done and ready for the nice list. And I was really pushing hard to get, um, to get my, stitches in on sure. life after death yeah yeah i just didn't get anywhere on it <laughs> so okay what do you have all right well i'm gonna be honest i don't have a whole lot to show this week it's been kind of crazy um the first thing i worked on is uh oh gosh my brightness on my phone i feel like hey, i forget that well, I have my phone set to automatically correct the brightness. Oh. Whenever, even whenever I do turn it down, it, it comes back. Like, no, no, it's not bright enough. So here it's the actual pattern. If you go and search for this is fine on the cross stitch subreddit, you'll find it. So there's no cover page for it. Um, I'm doing this on a piece of 40 count, just white linen. And here's where I am right now. <laughs> I kind of came down around and I'm doing the speech bubble here. Um, I'd like to try to get this done by mid-December. Uh, we'll see how it goes um, to give as a Christmas present to someone. I'm down. It pretty much goes over here. And then this is the bottom. So I just need to kind of connect the box around. And here's the tip we gave last week. Keisha's popping out a little stitch where it shows yes. on the pattern. Yeah, so if there's like black right next to the side border, I've been popping it out just so that I kind of know and can make sure that I've counted correctly too. So Yes, it makes it really easy to go back and double check your counting. Yeah, and that's a thing that I've learned just from watching you. So <laughs> <laughs> Because I know I count wonky. Right, right. See, pick up stuff, pick up tips from your friends. So this is still in the hoop because I've been working on it. Awesome. Okay, my next one is Shades of Autumn by Seba Designs. It's this one that's on the cover of this Just Cross Stitch magazine from uh, September, October 2017. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you what I did. So I did not start out here. Instead, I moved in one border and started mm -hmm. with this one because it's all one color and it'll go the full length of the pattern okay so that made more sense to me than trying to do these angles uh-huh and which you know i could have counted it and done it but this is much quicker sure and i really only had a little bit of time to work on this as well but that's how much i got done oh wow that's good though and it's gonna look really cool mm -hmm. so this fabric is a 32 count limited edition from um color and cotton okay very cool what else do you have well i'm bringing out one that you like uh this is persian pumpkin from mill hill that oh, I, I barely cool. started it but i know that you like the series of things um 
So I had barely started this. I put in uh, some of the magenta and some of the turquoise. So just I kind love of the turquoise against the purple. Wow. It's, it's a really pretty one. The color palette's really nice. So I just kind of picked it up. I just wanted something kind of easy to do a few stitches on. But well, and that should be a good one for November as well. Yeah, yeah, because it'll, well, and it'll be, I have a lot of trips in the car planned in November, so yeah. I'm hoping that some of my car stitching, I can get that done. If you get some areas outlined, then you can just fill. Mm -hmm. Just go on, yep. Okay, I have one more. Oh, my great. last one was Boris from mm -hmm. Plum Street Samplers. That's funny, I'm showing you. Yep, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I previously stitched um, Olga. On the other side. So I stitched, I've stitched a couple of days past the time, but look, oh, he, and, look at and him. look at him with her. Oh, I love it. Aren't they <laughs> cute? They are. So um I just need to get there's a bone that goes under him. Mm -hmm. And there's a basket of maybe mini pumpkins or mm -hmm. something. And then the alphabet goes up here with some, some things like this. Okay. Yeah. In between, but it should go fairly quickly. Oh, fun. That's and exciting. I love it. This one's on 32 count jack-o-lantern from x Designs. Look at me popping that out. There you go. You got it. I had you just in case. <laughs> <laughs> you always remember this one, but this is the nicest fabric to work on. And I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, I believe x Designs is what Katie called for for the um, um, Jack's stamp collection. Mm, oh, fun. And it will be fun to do that. And mm -hmm. it's the one that she called for is a speckled one. And uh, she bought both pink and purple, but we're using the pink one. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So, that should be fun. Mm -hmm. Hey, what do you want to tell us about some plans? Oh, you know, my plans are kind of in flux. I'm probably going to have, we kind of talked um, a couple months back about whether or not anybody would be like mad if I only showed one or two whips. I am going to have to work so hard on this is fine in order to get it done in time because it's uh, that's a full coverage thing. And it's little, but it's that's on 40 counts. Mm -hmm. So um, it's like 79 by 74 or something like that. So I've got quite a few stitches to do. And we are both model stitching. Yes. Yes. So you we're may models. see a couple of extra stitch with us videos. Yeah. We also have other plans to, mm -hmm. to go and do things um, on different days. So we'll be filming some things ahead uh, just so that you guys still get a video on Sunday. Hopefully, most of the time. <laughs> because one of our big plans for next year involves uh, pulling patterns from past BNS boxes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I should just say from BNS boxes, because who knows whether you'll pull something from. Right. I could number. pull something from the nice list. <laughs> yeah. um, and we're planning to start one of those every month. Or work on one that we've already started. Yes. Yes. So I may restart one that I have. But mm -hmm. so we're planning to do a video for you to show you the patterns that we have and that mm -hmm. we're thinking about. And yeah. um, maybe you guys will get to vote and help us help us choose. Because I know once we pull them out, we're going to really struggle with narrowing down. Yeah, there are. There are so many of them. <laughs> so, and there are some where I'm like, I need to get this done. I, mm. you know, I love it and I don't focus on it and I just need to get it done. So. Yeah. <laughs> In November, I'm planning to keep working on Boris because I should be able to get that to a finish. Mm -hmm. I'd like to work a little more on uh, Orange Tree Sampler. Oh, yeah. And on uh, the one I just started, Shades of Autumn. But I also, when I was doing my mad toss of projects um, for the uh, Stitch Haunt Tober, where we did Fall and Autumn, I found this. 
Okay. And it's a teeny tiny picture because it was a you and I and friends black sheep kit. And it's called Bountiful. Oh, so cute. And I love it. And I have these things. So these are from the late 90s and early 2000s. Maybe I should put this behind it. But that's what I have done. Yeah. I think I made this one stitch too high, but I made myself a note and it's not mm-hmm. going to matter. Yeah. <laughs> so I I will be really excited to get that pumpkin filled in. That's kind of my goal. Um, I'm looking at him now and thinking that there must have been symbols placed wrong. Mm. Because look, my pumpkin is outlined in green. Yeah. Sure is. <laughs> Not going back now. No. Mine will just look different. That's fine. I like it with that color outline. Yeah, it'll be really interesting. But that's one of my plans for November. Um, I am kind of trying to have a mostly plan-free month. Mm. And have yeah. it be a uh, stitch what I want when I want kind of a month. Um I was really excited to do 13 different projects during October, mm-hmm. but it made me nuts. Yeah. Um, I don't like switching so often. Mm-hmm. So, and then I'm thinking ahead to the 12 days of stitching for December. Mm-hmm. Do you know what you're going to do or what you're thinking about? Um, I have a couple of different, usually during the 12 days of stitching, I... I'll be opening the uh, the nice list like I usually do. I don't know how many children I'll be opening that with, but get ready for those uh-huh. videos. But a lot of times I like to, um, the majority of the patterns that come in the nice list come as kits and I will start those. So I'll probably start one or two of the, of the ones that come in that. I want to work on Santa's stamp collection from the Black Needle Society because I really like that one. And whenever I pull it out, I really enjoy it, but I, I just need to kind of move on it. And I have a few other Christmas things uh, that I'd like to pull out. Um, so we'll just kind of see. So we we were talking about it because it's the 12 days of stitching. Mm-hmm. So you can make a plan to stitch for 12 days on 12 projects for 12 hours for 1200 stitches, you know, whatever you want to do, mm-hmm. incorporating the number 12. And I have a few things close to a finish. Now, what I did for October was I went through everything, all of the whips in my stash, and I pulled them out to see what I have. Mm-hmm. And um, then that's why I ended up with 13, because I made myself bonkers with it. Right. But I may pick at least a couple of focus projects that I work on. Um Maybe I'll work on those on the weekend when I get more time Mm -hmm. and see if I can push them to a finish. And I will have a couple of new starts um, to finish out my year of starts. I don't think Katie did like even half of her starts for the year. So, (laughs) but I have one. I know um, I was trying to think I pulled out the book the um, Christmas Carol book and was thinking that I might do one from that. Mm. Um, And I have all of the stuff for it because we got all of the fabrics and things. Katie and I went and bought all the things. Right. And um, I have one. I'm trying to think who it's by. Um, And I know that I would like to do it because I know that I have a, um, companion piece for it and so i would like to trying to see if i can find it real quick i would like to get to the other one oh it's called love and joy by um heartstring samplery Mm. and one of my other plans for um for December is to start winter moon by plum street samplers. Ooh, fun. So I will have three of them started and none of them very far along, <laughs> but 
that will be a start. And really, I just want to get it started. So it's okay with mm -hmm. me if I don't get very far on it. Yeah, then you can just work on them in the seasons. That'll be fun. Yes. And I have already told Katie, I'm going to cheat a little. Um, we will do, at the end of November, we'll do a Black Friday and a small business Saturday chat, of mm -hmm. weekend chats. And we also in December do a New Year's Eve and then a New Year's Day chat. Mm -hmm. And that's when we usually work on our 25 pieces for 2025. But I've decided that's too many to try and get done in there. So I'm going to work on some of them over the, the Thanksgiving weekend. Oh, nice. And get some of the whips that I already have going in and done, worked on. And um, then I'll have a better idea what I want to add in mm -hmm. at the end of December. Yeah. And I may count, I may use that um, winter moon as one of those starts. Mm. That may even be in my new year, new start. Oh, that'd be fun. We'll see. So although my new year, new start could be, um, could be one that we choose when we do our. A black needle. Start, yes. Yeah. Unless we choose to do a, uh, start them together on a stitch with us. You never know with us. <laughs> all the plans going, right? right? We just have to narrow them down to one set of plans. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I think we're planning to try and show you more statistics next year. Mm -hmm. um, I have pulled out my clicker again, and I will just have to get back in the habit of using it. Yes. Because I do not have everything on Pattern Keeper where it keeps track of it all for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And I'm, I'm like, not going to have another baby in uh, 2025, so... <laughs> So that'll help a little bit with things. Yeah, so. maybe I'll be able to keep my stats a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> but you you do a pretty good job with your stats. So yeah, I enjoy listening to the stats and mm -hmm. hearing what people, hearing a monthly wrap up. So I'm planning to keep a bag close to me here. Close, I'm pointing at the floor because that's, you know, where I have all of my Halloween stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. But I'm planning to keep a bag here and maybe keep all the monthly stuff in it. Okay. So that at the end of the month, I should be able to just we can pull do things out and we can do a review. Okay. That sounds good. There we go. We made a plan. <laughs> and I gave you an idea, didn't I? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so now, does it sound like we have enough shenanigans? Yeah. And if we keep rambling, we're going to have plans for 2026. <laughs> we might already anyway. That's no. Right. Just teasing. <laughs> so there's really nothing else left to say today except bye. Bye. Have a good week. Mm -hmm.